Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. A voter by the name Nyongesa Makana has petitioned IEBC for a referendum for the presidency to rotate among tribes in Kenya. And this is a story that has also been captured by Standard Digital. A voter, voter wants no change to allow top seat to rotate across the tribes. A voter has written to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, seeking to collect a million signatures to change the constitution to allow a rotational presidency. Nyongesa Makanu, an architect, wants the president elected from a community other than that of the retiring president and his or her predecessor. That's the story. In this video, I want us to dig deep into that story to see its political implications and what it means politically. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. If you go through that story, Nyongesa is advocating for a rotational presidency, for the presidency to rotate among Kenyan tribes and communities. The next president should not come from the tribe of the current president and his or her predecessor. And then Nyongesa also wants the 47 counties to be grouped into nine clusters. And the nine clusters are just mainly the former eight provinces. But this time around, Nyongesa is splitting Rift Valley into two clusters. Kalenjin dominated counties are grouped together, and then counties that, that are not predominantly Kalenjin are also grouped together. Narok, Kajedo, Samburu, West Pokot, Turkana are grouped in one cluster. And then Tramvoye in, in Rift Valley is also grouped with these Luya counties, Vihiga, Busia, Kakamega, and Bungoma. And then Nairobi remains a cluster. And then in Eastern, the three Ukambani counties are grouped with Embu and Meru. Let's dig deep, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Nyongesa's petition to IEBC is in agreement with what a good majority of Kenyans are feeling, only that they are quiet about it. If you look at the political reality in Kenya as it is, a good majority of Kenyans believes that government institutions charged with the responsibility of delivering free fair elections are already compromised. Kenyans believe IBC cannot offer free fair election. And also if you look at the Supreme Court, that is also charged with the responsibility of making sure hmm, IBC carries and does its work as per the constitution, the Supreme Court is also seen as compromised. And I'm not just seeing a possibility where any Kenyan can challenge a presidential election at the Supreme Court, going by the court's ruling some few weeks ago. So Kenyans are actually pushed to the wall. Hmm? Kenyans don't have faith and trust in the institutions charged with the responsibility of ensuring free, fair elections. And then Kenyans also don't have trust and faith in the Supreme Court. And in my honest opinion, that paints a very bleak picture for the country. It paints a very bleak picture in that the country can explode because now Kenyans have now no option left. The best option forward in my, in my honest opinion is for a rotational presidency where presidency rotate among other Kenyan communities, not only two Kenyan communities. And that in a way can end the ethnic domination of two Kenyan communities against other Kenyan communities. And I'm saying that because if you look at Kenya's presidential elections, since 2007, the people who have always won those elections, all the people who have always been declared as winners, 
they have only been winning in two communities. While the rest of the other communities have been seen to be losing. And it's also very interesting that the leader who has been winning in all the other regions always has been seen as a loser. And that is actually creating a perception that two communities are actually dominating against other Kenyan communities. And for those who listened to, to Rigati Gashagwa yesterday, speaking in Wasengishu, he was saying that those who never voted for them should now not expect to receive government goodies. And that was seen again as just perpetuating the two community ethnic domination against other Kenyan communities. The best way, in my honest opinion, is for a rotational presidency. And if you look at Nyongesa's formula, in Nyongesa's thinking, for somebody to be declared the winner of the presidential election, then that person most definitely must win a majority of the clusters, of the nine clusters, in that the person to be declared the president must win five of the nine clusters. And you know, these clusters are just Kenyan communities. Mm. And let Kenyans now get a president who has the backing of not only two Kenyan communities, but a president who has the backing of a majority of Kenyan communities. I think that's the best thing that can happen to this country. And that's now what the opposition, what Azimio should actually be advocating as I talk. Mm. That's what the opposition, the Azimio, should be advocating. Now for Nyongesa to actually realize that he needs to collect one million signatures, then he forward them to IBC. IB, IBC will now verify the signatures and then forward them to county assemblies for approval. Upon 24 county assemblies approving the signatures, then they are forwarded to parliament. If parliament adopts them, then it becomes law. But in this case, Nyongesa is touching on a protected area, on the presidency, which will need a referendum. So Nyongesa must first of all collect one million signatures. He forwards them to IBC for verification. Then IBC forwards them to county assemblies. Where should county assemblies reject them? Then it goes directly to the people. Yes. It goes directly to the people for a referendum. And in my honest opinion, that's a move that a whole majority of Kenyans I know will approve because it's a move that is now trying to cure this conch of two ethnic community domination against other communities. I strongly believe, ladies and gentlemen, that that's a formula that quite a good majority of Kenyans will approve. Yes, I strongly believe that. And even before I conclude, the interesting part about it again is that these other two communities, or these communities that have been voting for these leaders, these ones who have been always declared the president, these two communities, or these communities, have not been able and willing to put them on their toes to deliver. In fact, irrespective of whether they deliver or not, because of our bad ethnic politics, come election time, this, these people that have been voting for this president just re-elects the bank, not, no, not caring whether they delivered or not. Mm. As long as hey, maybe the person they hate or the leader they hate is still active in politics. And I believe that's politics of stupidity, politics that should not be encouraged. And the only way to discourage that brand of politics is for a rotational presidency. That's a welcome move, ladies and gentlemen. And even before I conclude, if you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like, and to our fans or any other person who wants to have a chat a discussion or even to support this channel, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to send a support or a donation to the number. To those watching us outside Kenya, Drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.